Hello everyone, Sheila back again. Welcome to my channel. I am on the second part of the poncho. I finished the the first part and I've cast it on the long chain to start it off. Now I'm crocheting, I think I'm onto the third row. Now I will show you the, the first piece, what I've done. That's one half of the poncho, finally finished. And it measures 23 inches. That's the, the length that's going to go from uh, your neck down to your arm. And it measures almost 43 inches. That's the, the length that's going to go over your shoulder. So now I have another piece to do. The same size. The colours are the same, but they're going to be in different orders. We have started with the, um, the cream here. I think I'll be starting with the space and the other colours are changing um, they're probably going to all going to be the same the same number of inches but the colours are going to be changed so I'm going to have a little bit of fun working that out but it won't take me as long to do the other piece because I'll be doing nothing else but that it's coming along nicely I keep stuck in it probably only take me two or three more days maybe to do to do this because i can't get up quite a good speed when i when i want to and when i'm not talking and <laughs> that tends to slow me down talking but i've started that and i started off with 18 balls that was how many 1800 gram balls i bought of the um the cotton because i wasn't sure how many balls it was going to take so i thought i'll get six balls of each color and this is what i have left i've got two four six full balls and these bit cream there and a bit um it's okra I nearly full these these two balls and then I have two like that what I'm using at the um, moment so that's two four six about one between those seven eight nine ten so it's probably taken me about eight maybe it's eight going on for nine balls for that one Or less less than that. Two, four, six, eight. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I think I've just got enough to do the um the whole thing. There'll probably be a little bit left over. But this poncho, anybody making it out of cotton, it would cost quite a bit. It cost me forty five pounds for eighteen balls, which. Yes, it was. It was. I ordered 20 balls all together and I got two white. That was it and came to £50 from Mariners. It is only two fifty a ball from Mariners. But there's not as many as um, what I got from Lovecraft, the, um, the 50 gram balls. There's more. The two fifty gram balls, there's more. There's about 250 meters in 250 gram balls but there's only two 200 meters in these ones so it'd probably work out about the same the, the cost the money wise if you were getting them from the likes of um lovecraft but just these they're good ones but they just do not do many colors in them i didn't have a lot of choice of um colors and it is mercerized has like a sheen on it this um so that's the what I have left to, um, to do all this and it does crochet up quite quick I can I could have had a lot more of this done today but I decided after lunch was just after one I was going to write all my cards out 
get them posted because uh, you know the ones you post around the doors yourself and your friends doors i've had quite a few of those coming in my door some of them started to come the first of december i never post any of mine until at least two weeks before christmas even later well it's what is it the 13th today so it's nearly it's a bit more than it's a bit less than two weeks the christmas day and i spent from just after one until almost five o'clock it took me to write all those cards out and sort them out and i bought a lot of stamps the last time i was in the um the post office and and i thought i'm going to have to get them sorted so i had to leave my crochet in that uh, but you know i had right as cramp when i had finished doing all that and then i had to go out i wrote all the ones out that go people come and put in your door and you notice something when people come and put them in through your door they always come at the night time when it's dark <laughs> i don't know why they don't want people to know that they're posting the cards themselves instead of putting them a stamp on and putting them in the post box but we know they've posted them themselves because they only have your name on and no stamp on and they just push through your door in the dark but saying that that's what i did today i don't usually it's usually in um in the morning or early afternoon when i walk around with all mine which i would have done today but it took that long to write all the cards out because i was going to the post office as well so i took the pile out that i was posting by hand and i walked up one side of the street up the other side of the street and then I walked up the middle up to the post box and put all the other ones with the stamps on in the uh, in the post box. And then, you know, you're walking in the gardens and, you know, you the little latches on, on the gates make a little noise and either the dog barks or you can see the, the curtain being pulled back a little bit to see somebody to see who's coming up the path. It's just Sheila with your cards. You can shut your curtain again. I'm a cheeky so-and-so, you know, when I start like me. <laughs> That's my friend. <laughs> my friend hates me when uh, we go out anyway, because she says, she says, you never keep your mouth shut, you, do you? <laughs> but all, they're all posted. There's only an odd one or two, I think. Um, I didn't quite have enough cards. And I am glad all of my subscribers don't want me to send cards to them you know i've got three thousand nearly three thousand not three thousand nearly two thousand four hundred subscribers i posted one or two cards to my friends the ones i have a lot to do with but i hope the rest because i have had one or two asking for my address but i cannot afford to post that many cards so I will just wish you all a Merry Christmas. <laughs> You'll have to make do with that. And I'm going to get as much as I can of this done. I still have the little cardigan to do. I haven't done any more of that. I thought I want to get as much of this poncho done. In case anybody wants to follow along, would like to do this one. I made a chain, um, 127, that's uh, 127 chain stitches, so there's actually 126 because one was for turning, and I'm using a 6mm hook, and I am using two strands of double knitting together to make it iron, but I advise anybody, if they want to make anything like this, to do it in acrylic. The, um, the piece I have knitted is, it feels quite heavy, but it doesn't feel heavy when it's actually on, when I put it over my shoulder. I'll get the piece and put it over my shoulder and show you.
So it does come a good way. I don't think it'll be right that far up on somebody's neck. It does come a good way down. That. And you notice I've got my pyjamas on and I like to sit comfortably at night time. <laughs> and it actually, when you pick it up, it feels heavy, but it doesn't feel heavy like that when it's on, so it's quite all right. And I quite like the feel of it, but I think this could be used actually um, of a night time. I think somebody could use it of a blanket over their knee. <laughs> All I need to do is put a couple of little clips in where the, um, the slit would be for the neck. And I could use it as a blanket because it'll be quite, be quite big. I've left the the little end that was left of um, that because that's what I'm going to stitch up the the two centre pieces. I'll be leaving a bit about that much for the the neck and stitching so far up either side. I'm not sure whether to put an edge on it or not because I think it's quite straight the edge. It's not not bad. My my cast on edge where I've done with the chain is quite neat as well, so. Anyway, that's that. Anyway, put that over there. Get back on with my bit crochet here. So I am going to sit for even watching the television, I did do some of this last night while I was watching the television. That was how I didn't get any of the little cardigan done. I thought I'll see if I can manage and watch the television at the same time. And I can do, you know, look at a few stitches and then have a look at the television. And I can do a bit crochet while I'm watching the television. It's not too bad. So, so that's what I'm going to do tonight. Uh, just going to stick in and get this done as quickly as I can. I won't be going anywhere tomorrow. I'll not be going out on Wednesday. I'll go to my granddaughter's on um, Wednesday. But I'm not going anywhere tomorrow. So I've got all day tomorrow in the house to, to get on with it. So that's my little bit for today. A little bit later than normal. I like to try to do the videos during the day because if the light's good, I get a better light during the um, the day without having to put my ring light on. But I've got my ring light on behind uh, my laptop at the the moment because it's it's after six o'clock now. I haven't had any tea yet, so I'm going to make myself a cup of tea and have a look to see what I've got in my fridge. See what I'm going to have for my tea. So, catch us all another time. Thumbs up and subscribe. Bye bye for now.